Hi guys, so I'm aware I haven't been as active as normal, I'd like to say, even though I haven't been as active in a while. Yeah, I haven't taken part in Vlogmas or anything like that, um, mainly due to other commitments. But I'm here now and thought I'd just put up a Christmas themed collection barn sort of thing. The barn hasn't changed, so I didn't think there was much point in uploading a new one. It will change around pretty soon. Um, I'll also, I think sometime in the new year, film a few episodes now. So I'm out of breath, I've been trying to get a lot done. Anyway, so, um, I'll just sort of go from level to level and then talk about the horses on my shelves. Um, only half of them are newly dusted. Um, I've only had time to do the bigger shelf, the smaller shelf isn't wasn't as dusty anyways, so I'm sorry about all that. Anyway, so on the top level we have Toby, the trained horse. Then coming down here we have Tim, the Clydesdale stallion, and Toby, the Clydesdale foal. If I, I'm just going to sum them all up as stallions. I'm sorry if they are geldings. I am aware that's a category. Um, just for quickness, I'm wanting to say. Anyway, then um, this is the barn level. Here we have Quinn, the Andalusian mare, Emily, the Andalusian foal. Then we have Cassie, the paint horse yelling. Then we have Lola, the Frasian mare, and you can hardly say she's the newer model. Then we have Jasper, the Frasian stallion, which is the basic model. Um, just because there's been so many variations recently. Anyway, then we have Jane, the Lipsana mare, and Charlotte, the Lipsana foal. Then in here we have Fiona, the fell pony mare, and Lima, the fell... Sorry. Fiona, the fell pony mare, and Lima, the fell pony foal. Sorry if I get the... In my head, I'm saying these all the wrong way around. So I probably, I'm probably not. I'm just sort of... Um, swapping my words around. Anyway. Here in the messy barn area where all the humans have seemed to congregate, I can't talk, okay, um, have um, gathered, let's say, instead of congregated again. Anyway, so here we have the fell pony mare, not the fell pony mare, sorry, sorry, the mini Shetland mare called Flory. Then we have the Dalmo, no, Great Dane, which is called Lexi, sorry. Then we have our pugs, this one's Emily and that one's Jamie. Then we have Flo, the... Falabella mare, then we have Patch, the Falabella foal. Up here we have one of my newer ones, which is Sid, the Ardennes stallion. Any more horses for this level? I won't go through people, as half of them change names regularly, just due to me not forgetting them, but just they have a range of names for some reason, because I've gone with one name and thought of another name for them, and then they've kind of never, like, not never decided. They've just gone through phases of, oh, yes, I'm sure it's called that, but no, I'll, you know, not updates, just me being a bit like sort of swapping their names around anyway that's them down here i'll try and turn the light i actually have two lights now down here so um i'm not sure what good it will do and this will probably fall off oh right i'm sorry if this is really horrible lighting there is a light here and a light up there so i apologize anyway um if i move it closer sorry bear with me right so at the back, there is the Trekkanamare, which I've called Amy. Here we have Bailey, the Camargue foal. Then we have one of, like, she's she's really gorgeous, the um, Mayor, the Shire Mare. I really like her. Then we have Vegemite, my beautiful Canabster of a Mare. I really like her too. Then we have Zoe, the Halflinger Mare, and Emma, the Lying Down Halflinger foal. Then here we have Phoebe, the Tennessee Walker yearling. Here in her rug we have Juliet the Hanoverian mare and her foal Samuel also in rug. Yeah, he's the Hanoverian foal, sorry. Um, anyway, here we have Sugar the Knab Strapper foal, who really like to. I just really like the Knab Strappers at the minute, I've liked all five. Anyway, here we have Abby the Shetland foal. Yes, I don't have the other two, but oh well. There, back there we have Dominic the Mustang Stallion. Can you see Amy a bit better now? Yeah, anyway. Here we have Rookie the Camargue Stallion. Henry is in the middle there, the Hanoverian and Stallion. Then we have Dylan, the Fell Pony Stallion. Back here we have a few retired ones because they came to the barn a few years ago in real life, to be honest, um, when my barn was still on the floor. And I haven't made up a story for them to leave yet, but they do need to leave so they can go and just have sanctuary on my shelf. But this is Robbie, the Thoroughbred Stallion. Here is Basil, the rearing Shetland Stallion. Here we have Oscar. The, sorry, I'll stop pointing at them. Here we have Oscar, the Shire Stallion, and his foal, Nathan, the Shire Foal. 
Right, here we have another retired one, Tristan the Arabian Stallion, and here we have Mark the Icelandic Stallion. Here, two of the other new ones. You can tell the new ones haven't really settled in well as they haven't found a spot because the male field is so crowded, but I think um, when I get the few retired ones out, it will crowd down a bit and free up some space in the barn. Anyway, so here is Eve, the Arabian mare, and her Falkira. Then there's a fox. Um, I'll just show you the barn. It's in pretty bad shape, but it's just all the small animals. So that's the retired hamster, the pig, piglet, sorry, the zebra, foal, tortoise, goat, kid, and then the two rabbits in there. If I go through names quickly, the pig doesn't really have a name, but we kind of tend to call it Wilbet. The hamster really does not have a name. Um, the zebra is called Liam. The tortoise is called Toby. The f goat kid is called Phil. This one is called Dominic, the black and white one. And then Hillary is the wild hare. I'm not sure if you can see it. There we go. Right. I think that's pretty much it for the animals. Now onto this bit. So this is a barn of six retired horses. Um, they are... I filmed an episode where they came into the barn, but I'm not actually sure if I'm going to keep the episode because it was quite poorly shot and executed. So um, I might redo it to make it better. But anyway, I'll go for it. So this is Jason, the Appaloosa gelding. This is Vicky, the um, full blood mare, who I really like. She's a really nice model. This is Scarlet, the Arabian mare. This is Carrie, the white mare. This is Ellie, the grazing riding pony. This is Clive, the paint stallion. And this is Mark, the Frasian gelding. That's Mark with a K. That guy's Mark with a C. Anyway, so now I'll go onto my shelves. Right, so this is from most recently retired to oldest now. Um, I categorise mine weirdly, as in... I order them as in, yeah, they were retired in order I got them because I've actually written down the order I've got every single horse. So sorry if there's messed up and mixed up families, that is because I put them down in order. So, right, let's go for it. So here is Russ, the Dartmoor Stallion. Here is Paddy, the Tinkerfoal. Here is Joey, my Tinker Stallion. Here is Rosa, the Camargue Mare. Here is Kathy, the Halfling of Foal. Here is Marley, the Pinto Stallion. Here's Mika, the Pinto... Sorry, here's Mika, the Icelandic mare. Down the shelf we have Ross, the Cortor Stallion in his rug. Here we have Monica, the Black Forest mare. This is Emerald, the Frozen Fall. This is Pepper, the Knapsipper mare. Um, first ever model. Here we have Salt, the Knapsipper Stallion, who was my first ever stallion. Really like them both too, as I've said with all the Knapsipper so far. Anyway, here we have Marie, the Dartmoor Mare, and next to her we have Charlie, the Aquatique Foal. Then we have Chandler, the Tennessee Walk Stallion, and Jane, the Dartmoor Foal. She's Jane with an E. Um, she's just Jane, and the Lipis Mare is Jane with a Y in the middle of it. Because, re yeah, my names are just... Yeah, anyway, many variations. Anyway, here we have Lee, the Pinto Mare, who I think is holding up Hannah, the Tinker Mare, with her nose, which is not the best. I'll just shove her out of the way quickly, hang on. There we go, All right. Down the shelf we have Vinny in his rug, the Knaps of the Fall. Really like him. He took I've been I um, before I got him I'd been really like liking him for years. I think a year over pretty much yeah, over a year definitely. Anyway, next to him we have David the Andalusian Stallion, who's also one of my first models. Anyway, then we have Alex the Acultique Stallion. Back there we have Jade, the Frasian mare. She's slanted because she falls over on these shelves a lot. And Alex's tag seems to have got caught around her leg. Sorry. Right. And we have Eb, the Falabella gelding. Then next to him we have Tom, the Arabian foal. Then we have Daniel, the Shetland gelding. Next to him we have Beach, the Shetland mare. Then we have Reuben, the Arabian stallion. Then we have Zara, the Arabian mare. And then on the end here we have Pedro, the... Lusitano gelding. On to the bottom shelf now. There's, sorry for the poor lighting, but there's Joanna the Hanoverian mare. Next to her is Jamie the Hanoverian foal. Next to him is Michael the Black Forest yearling. Then we have James the Lipizzano gelding. Then we have Sarah the Lipizzano mare in her rug. Then we have Lucas the Arabian foal. The grazing Arabian foal, sorry. 
Then we have Brandon, the Lipizzaner Foal. Then we have Poppy, the Shetland Foal. Then we have Pippa, the Halflinger Mare. Then, then there's Harry, the Halflinger Gelding. And Max, the Palomino Stallion Gelding. Sorry. So that was this shelf. Um, so you can see my barns there, then this shelf's here, and then here is my retired shelf, which is the most exciting shelf in ways of more, um, not unique models, just rarer models, but the lighting is really bad, so I'm sorry if you can hardly make these guys out. Feel free to, if you would like any more detail on any of the horses, feel free to um, post me a comment and I'll happily do a in-depth video on them. Um, say if it was a retired one and you're thinking about buying it, or just a... Um, just a current one and you'd like to know a bit more about it before buying it, feel free. And I'll do that for you. Anyway, so on the shelf we have... It's the same model as Tristan the, Ara the Retired Arabian, but it's like with the darker face, so I quite like that variation. Anyway, so that's the Arabian Retired Arabian Stallion. Yeah, sorry, these horses are all retired. Anyway. I'll get on to it. So, this is... In the gaps are from the other horses in the barn. Bit retired. Anyway, so this is Margot the Court Horse Mare. Then there's Fleur the Grazing Shire Mare. There's Richard the Shire Gelding. There's Champagne the Camarg Mare. There's Brandy the Camarg Foal. Then we have Peter. I'm wanting to say Peter the Patron Foal. Then his double, which um, I'll need to sell anyway. Then we have Rachel the Patron Mare. Then we have Percy the Perched on Stallion, Gelding, sorry. Then we have Pam, the Perotsky's horse. Then we have Rosie, the Clydesdale mare. There is a few horses on this shelf down here. Um, I'm sorry if you can't see them that well, but I'll go through them. So there's Jason, the Gelding's double. Then we have Lucy, who is the Trachina mare. Then we have Anna, the Arabian mare. Then there's Ollie, the Appaloosa Gelding. Then there's Nathan, the... Shire Foal, and then there's the other Tristan, um, which is the similar mould. Sorry about the mess. Anyway, so um, that's the collection. Sorry, if that's Nick. Sorry, the two shares. One of my shares is called Nathan, one of them's called Nick. I'm pretty sure that one's Nick, and I've just said Nathan again. Anyway, so that's Nick, the Shire Foal. And then the double Tristan. Anyway, so um, that's the tour. If you would like to give... If you would like me to give you a more in-depth description of any of the horses, please just feel free. Thank you for watching, and have a good Christmas. Bye, guys.